Hi everyone, this is Karin from Divis PH Academy. This is our part two lesson of how to become a lead generation specialist. This time is more focused on what are the things we can do or we should know about lead generation. Please watch this video for the overview of our lesson. In our previous video, you learn about the introduction of lead generation. It discussed there the different terms used in lead generation. In this lesson, you will learn about the things you need to know as a lead generation specialist. You can watch this video to learn more about it. Watch it till the end. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more free videos. All right, thank you for watching the video. Let's start with our lesson. So what are the things Sion need to know about lead generation? So first thing, guys, ang kailangan nating alamin bilang lead generation specialist is we have to define your leads. So let's say um, your service is about a coaching business and you have a client na may coaching business. So ano ba ang kanyang mga target leads? Ang kanya bang target leads ay yung mga nasa real estate industry, sa e-commerce industry, and whatever uh, businessman na gusto niyang a guide as a coach or business coach. So, ano ba ang lead natin? Ito ba yung may mga mababa ang budget but they want to learn about real estate or e-commerce? O sila ba yung talagang capable to pay a costly course? So, ganon. Uh, let's have another example. So, um, sa real estate, cold calling, Kasi meron tayong wholesaler and investor side and realtor. So, let's say our our client is real estate investor. So, ano ba ang leads na hinahanap niya? Ito ba yung mga interesado magbenta ng property nila regardless of the motivation and reason? Or gusto ba nila yung mga leads na talagang highly motivated and they are in a distress situation? All right. So next is know the process. Ano ba ang marketing campaign that you have to use? Are you going to use organic reach, cold calling, or telemarketing? Are you going to use paid ads? So it really depends on the marketing budget and the goal of your client. So distinguish the most common types of lead. So sa last video natin, I already discussed the different types of leads. So, ano bang pagkakaiba ng cold leads, hot, warm lead, and hot lead? So, if you already watched our previous lesson, you will know what are the common types of leads. Okay? So, next is, what are the common mistakes that we should avoid as a lead generation specialist? So, first is, use a multiple marketing channels. Why it's a mistake, di ba? Parang sabi nga nila, the more, the merrier. Pero kasi ang nagiging problem sa maraming marketing channel, nahihirapan tayo kung ano ba talaga ang focus natin. And most of the time, it's so hard to manage a multiple marketing channel. So I'm gonna give you an example. So I used to have a client. So marami siyang marketing channel. He do cold calling, texting, email, bandit sign, blog, so, ang nangyayari sa sobrang dami niyang marketing channel, nahihirapan siya i-manage lahat. So, siguro pwede natin i-try yung iba. Kung ano yung, ano yung most, mga, mas effective, doon tayo mag-stick. Hindi yung sabay-sabay lahat na uh, marketing channel. So, you can try, uh, like, let's say, uh, social media. And kung tingin natin nag-work yun, we can stick with it. Stick tayo doon. And it, let's say, can do email marketing but hindi siya gumagana, mababa yung response rate, you should remove that. Okay? Next, check the quality of every lead you generate. So, if you know the difference between cold, warm, and hot lead, so ano bang focus natin? Focus ba tayo lagi sa hot lead lang? Or, and then, we parang hindi na natin mapansin yung cold lead since they, they only have um interest but they don't have an intention 
So we have to check our CRM in a timely manner. All right, so next is get as much data about your lead as you can. So why we need to get the info about our leads? Because it will help us to see if talaga bang may intention sila or motivation to get a service or a product to your client. Okay, so let's go back doon sa um, coaching business ng kunyari, nagkaroon ka ng client na business coach. So you have to get all the info ng mga target lead nyo. Like their bad, their market, their uh, marketing budget or their um, budget. Pag nagtake sila ng course, ano yung source of income nila, and then ano yung mga struggles nila. So we have to get that. So let's say sa cold calling, uh, we have to know all the information about the property to make sure that. Uh, we will give the right offer to our sellers or lead. Okay, next. Learn to learn how to segment your lead based on your marketing objective. So it's connected with um, the previous one. Check the quality of every lead you generate. Because enable for you to um, check the quality of your leads, you have to know your mar- marketing objectives. So ang gusto mo lang ba kumuha ng kumuha ng leads then paramihin ng paramihin sila or you want to get lead at the same time you want to check the quality of lead and qualify them based on their intention and interest and lastly don't stop at generating leads nurture them ito nagiging problema rin sa mga lead generation especially sa cold calling um, they get a lot of leads then nahihirapan na silang to mag-follow up call. Kasi nga, is, alam mo yun, sobrang dami ng lead, hindi na makakapag-send ng text, busy si acquisition manager or si client. So, pag nakakuha tayo ng enough number of leads, we should make, we should, we need to make sure that we nurture them, we do make, we do follow ups, or we send email. Alright? So, next is, we have to keep our eyes on the st- statistic because dito natin malalaman if our marketing campaign to get leads is effective or not. Like what I mentioned earlier, if the email marketing has low response rate, you have to move to a different marketing channel or marketing strategy. Okay, so we have to know about the response rate. Saan ba tayo nakakuha ng mas mataas na response rate sa sp- Facebook ads ba, sa email marketing, sa SMS marketing, or cold calling? So let's say we want to nakikita tayo ng mas maraming response rate sa Facebook ads. So maglalayo, ka, maglalayo tayo or si client doon sa ibang hindi gaano effective na marketing campaign and we have to focus kung saan yung mas mataas ang response rate. Siyempre, if mataas ang response rate, mataas din ang conversion rate or there will be more chances na ma-convert natin itong lead into a closed deal. Okay? So, let's say, um, siyempre, Facebook ads, marami nagre-response, marami pa yung pwedeng i-follow up. Then, um, once na marami tayong na-follow up or na-message, there's our, there are chances na pwede silang ma-convert into closed deal. Cost metrics. So, syempre, kailangan din nating alamin, syempre si client, yung kailangan din maging aware tayo as a lead generation specialist kung aling marketing strategy ang mas efficient or cost efficient. But at the same time, it has good response and conversion rate. And lastly, sales metrics. Yun nga, ito yung mga um, metric na once ano ba yung mga maraming nakakapag-close deal. Sa, sa Facebook ads ba, sa, sa email or sa SMS. So, we have to consider those metrics. Alright, so additional uh, info then, since uh, I mentioned some of the organic um, way on getting leads, we also have to know about ads, social media, content, and email. So, just an additional information. And make sure then that we know some automation or pa- Alam natin, alam natin kung paano i-automate yung marketing, especially if we're using a um, automated marketing. So, 
Next lesson, guys, um, ang ituturo naman namin sa inyo ay what are the different types of lead generation. So, doon sa lesson na yon, you will identify kung ano bang types of lead generation yung pasok sa kakayahan ko, sa knowledge ko, or sa interest ko. All right. Before we end this video, I just want you to guys uh, to know more about our paid course about real estate marketing virtual assistant. If you're looking uh, to a cheaper a real estate marketing VA course, this is for you. Um, this is a lifetime access to our online course. It's just 799 pesos because it's 50% discount. Actually, the original price is 1,599. Since it's an introductory price, we give 50% discount. And with that price, you will get the lifetime access to our online course. Eight hours, yung ano namin, yung hours of watching hours ng ano namin na yun, na course na yun. So talagang siksik ang mga information na makakalap niyo doon. It has certificate after you finish the course. It will also um, help you to find client. So uh, ituturo ko doon yung mga naging strategy ko to find client. Minsan siya lang yung lumalapit sa akin. And there are quizzes to understand your, uh, to check your understanding and PDF copy of each lesson and other learning materials. But we also have the ultimate learning course, which is 1,499. The original cost is 2,999. And since it's an introductory price, we offer 50% discount. So most of uh, all the, the things that you will get as a free course, as a free course, or as a, um, 799 course, nandito rin. Pero ang different nun, ito ay may lifetime support via Facebook group. So sa lifetime support, um, there will be client referral, job hiring, and then if you have question concerns, we can definitely help you out through our Facebook group. There are there is one-on-one -on -one or group mentoring one to two session, which is 30 minutes per session. And pinaka uh, maganda rin dito yung 40 hours OJT or the apprenticeship program that you can use as your working experience. So kasi lalo lang sa mga walang experience and normally hindi lahat ng client are um, accepting those VA na walang experience. So in this um, ultimate learning course, you will have a 40 hours OGT which will serve as your working experience. All right. So by the way, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Divis PH Academy. And that's all for today. Thank you so much and see you on the next video.